Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Dark Child Five Seven, and uh, with me today, I'm, I got Jeff Juice Three Eight Eight Six with me. Um, so we're gonna do some knife uh, first impressions for you. Now, Jeff is primarily a collector of a lot of spider codes, and uh, as you know, I'm a I collect a lot more than just spider codes. But so I thought I'd give him some uh, first-hand experience with some of the other knives that uh, they didn't have in his collection. So, what's up, Jeff? <coughs> Not much. Uh, in front of you is probably. A lot of you guys know the Emerson. Uh, I don't even know what it is. It's a, it's a CQC 15. 15, right? Yeah. 15. Yeah. Uh, which is very nice. It has saw locked up. Uh, handles very nicely. I like how uh, it has the guards on the side so it's not going anywhere. With the G10 and the Y feature. I tried it earlier and cut myself, so <laughs> <laughs> I need to get one of those uh, delicate wave trainers or whatever. But no, nah, you'd be fine, man. You just gotta practice, you know, just like oh, we don't, yeah. we all do. So, yeah, it sounds really um, menacing, I guess, like a baton coming out. Yeah, but it's pretty awesome. It's my first Emerson actually that I'm touching, so. What do you think about the thumb disc? There's a lot of mixed feelings on that. Uh, I'm, I'm not too like picky about it. I think it's fine. Yeah. Um, going from the spider go hole to this, I mean, I think uh, it gives you enough to employ it without having to use the wave feature. Oh yeah. So. Yeah, if you ever get uh, pulled out without waving it open and scaring the shit out of everybody. Seriously. <laughs> <laughs> so. I don't know. All right. Cool. Well, hey, let's move on to some of yeah. so, so, before I give you any more, Jeff, I want everybody to know that Jeff has not seen any of these knives that I'm going to give him. Is that correct, Jeff? <clears throat> oh, that's true. <laughs> all right. So, this will be his actual first impression. This is uncut. All right. Yeah. So, open it up. So, Jeff, for you, I brought over my Sabenza. Oh, this is like one of those holy grail things that yep. you, all the neck collectors have to have. Yep, that's right. This is the Sabenza 21 in a Tonto. This is the a knife, yeah. uh, what's it called again? The uh, exclusive to. Um, and I just forgot the website, but this is exclusive huh. to a Canadian company, and oh. right off the bat, I forgot. But now I know what they mean when they say like when it's buttery smooth when you open it. <laughs> yeah, what do you think about that, huh? Damn. Oops. So the light. Oh. my light bulbs just got nope. The power went out oh, in geez. the area. It's raining pretty hard outside and windy. Uh -oh. Oh, I guess this will have to be cut really quick, so let me go and adjust the video. We'll be right back. Yep. All right, everybody, we're back. Uh, we had to re uh, redo the uh, tripod positioning, but so yeah. hopefully it's still clear. So go ahead. What were you about to say? Uh, about yeah. uh, the blade, uh, the blade steel, uh, it's like uh, like a super fine grain. So I don't know if it's the coating, but it feels like butter almost. Hey man, cut this. <laughs> Trust me, cut it. <laughs> Look at that. I can just do like curly cues with this thing on non computer paper. So it's much thinner, too. Yeah, that's super sharp. <laughs> Here, let's do a macro of that. Look at this. This is what Jeff did on this thing. Look at that shit. Comp yeah. Yeah, this thing got a good macro on this thing. All right. Yeah, so and it has a nice blue uh, and uh, thumb studs there. Yeah. Yep, dual thumb studs. They don't normally come this way. I like yeah. to have a model that has duels on them. Oh, you do have to pay more for that. You do, huh? you do. Yeah, unfortunately, but I think it's well worth it in my mm -hmm. case. Because I love. I, one thing important about my knives is that they have to be ambidextrous. So that's true. Yep. And the uh, the titanium actually has a grip on it. Okay. It, it like feels grippy almost, which is nice. Yeah, it's not the it's not the complete smooth titanium like like That's a lot true. of real stuff. So, does yeah. it come with this too? Yep, came with that. This is the since it was limited oh. edition, it comes with the little. I think it's like kind of gimmicky, but it comes with the little um, ring on there, or the spacer. Is that like a titanium spacer? Yeah, I see it right here too. So, yep. so yeah, there's two of them. That I think oh, okay. it's the same thing. You know. Oh, nice. I'm not an expert on CRKs, but. <laughs> This is, in fact, this is the only one I've only and the first one I've ever owned. So, how does that feel? That's a large one, by the way. So, a small yeah. ones can be, you know, too, five, probably too small after looking at it like this. I probably don't know. small ones gonna be uh, gonna be about the same size as the next knife I'm gonna show you. Hmm. So, what do you say? You want to head on to the next one? Yeah, definitely. All right. So, again, guys, yes. Jeff has never seen these knives <laughs> before. What I have for you, Jeff, is a small oh, nice. Strider PT. 
These are like the holy grails of nice ma knife, uh, <laughs> knives. I like the lockup on that. that. That's solid. So now, now the large, the large, uh, the, the, the SMG is gonna be about the same size as large Sobenzo. Oh, okay. Here, so, so, yeah. so just imagine the same grip, but with the with the tail end of it sticking hmm. up uh, behind your uh, inner palm a little bit more. Now that's it's, been broken in by me, and I've also personally yeah. adjusted the pivot as well. And actually, that 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 cool tool you have actually will adjust that adjust that bull pivot. Oh, so sure. Yeah. So. Yeah. When when it uh, opens and it snaps, it's like with authority even for such a small knife. This one's so broken in, you can do a spider drop on it, the spider opening. Oh, nice. Yeah. <coughs> what do you think? It's okay. nice. You want, you, 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 here, you want to slice the yeah. with that? Let's check out how that thing is. Here you go. You keep everything razor sharp here. Well, it's probably because I don't use my knives so much. Yeah. It's kind of hard to use That's when you use all your knives and you got like more than 100. <laughs> It's probably not going to be as impressed as, that, as the uh, Sabenza, but it, it'll do its job, you know, especially in the tactical area. Well, I'm doing curly cues here too, but they're like getting uh, shaved caught. off. Yeah, they're getting caught a little bit. That Sabenza is definitely sharper, isn't it? But I mean, you know, yeah. look at that. Not bad, so this is what he did. So a little gets caught a little bit, but definitely still sharp. All right, let's move on here. So, what I have to use <coughs> It's a Microtech Ultratech. So as you can tell, he has all the high-end knives, and I oh, have the. <laughs> Careful, don't deploy that into your hand. Yeah, then. yeah. <coughs> this, one, this is one of the first the uh, automatic front opening knives yeah. I've had. OTFs. Just go and put. See, so Jeff, when you're opening it, describe the actual force it takes hmm. to try and open this damn knife. <laughs> I guess it would say like, uh, if you guys ever shot a gun before, it has like that trigger pull feel, like a pound of force. I would say it has like a pound of force of it, maybe a, similar to a Glock almost, like a three pound force. Yeah. You know, the next time, next, next yeah. time I come back over, I'll bring over my Halo 5. The kickback on that thing is atrocious. This thing is, is this thing is like nothing compared to the kickback yeah. on the Halo 5. I don't know if you guys can see this. Uh, oh, yeah. Gotta aim it toward the light a little bit, turn it, there you go. See you can bring it, actually this thing goes yeah. to the macro, go all the way to the screen. Here, stand behind here, just do it. Yeah. 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 So go all the way up. Keep going. Just go all the way. Look, look how nice this thing focuses. Oh, very nice. Do you guys see that uh, composite blade there? That's freaking sick. Yep. That's well, what are the two seals on here? Oh, no, actually, that's just a, that's just what they call the heat fire, uh, whatever. This not a, it's actually just one seal. So it's um, S30B, I believe that blade is. Oh, Chisel okay. grinders, you can tell, because the backside doesn't have the same pattern. It's just a completely yeah. sterile. Um, so it's like the Emerson CQC7 Tonto. <coughs> <coughs> but it's, uh, now this one is razor sharp too, so if you like to, uh, here you go. You want to oh, yeah. try that one out. Now the tip, cutting with the chisel is a little bit hard. Yes, as you can t immediately know something. So. Is, yeah, it's kind of weird. Um, I don't know if it's our right hand or left hand, but it's still sharp, so. Yeah, it's kind of odd. Like I said, just cut straight down. Yeah, just cut straight down. Yeah, yeah that's very sharp. The problem is this knife is so thick that it's kind of hard to cut through paper like that. It's not mm. like that, the full flat yeah, round of diamonds. That's true. But, yeah. And the chisel work on it is amazing. Yeah. You have like so many uh, various screws there. Oh, yeah. On top, here, here, here. Now the retraction is going to be the same too, Jeff, by the way. You're going to have to pull back really hard to get that thing to come back. Oh, in. nice. So, so for, for all those who, who don't believe that, or who believe that automatics are going to just deploy in your pocket, this one will not deploy in your yeah, pocket. Yeah, definitely. You, there's a pound, at least a few pounds of force going up and down, and it has a very nice sound to it. I'll bring it up. You can hear it. There you guys go. And it has a very nice, uh, I like to call temple or skull basher. <laughs> Oversized uh. skull basher. <laughs> okay, so Jeff, since you're saying I'm going to bring high end knives for you, how about I give you something a little, <laughs> lower, little bit lower price. So Jeff, this is a Macusta Katana. This is, it's about a $100 <clears throat> knife, maybe less, depending on where you find it. But it has mm. the feel and, and quality looks of a, of a more of a higher end knife. That's true. <laughs> I like the uh, navy color and the polish on this. Is this like uh, aircraft aluminum or? Uh, yeah, air it's, okay. it's aluminum. I don't know if it's aircraft aluminum, but it is aluminum. Yeah. Uh, the only thing is, I don't know. Um, actually, actually, I do know. They, they actually come in three, two more different uh, colors too, as well. They have a lavender and blue, and they have a uh, black and blue, I believe. 
So, yeah. is this a composite or is no, this? Uh, no, this is this is not is a composite. Heat this, treated too. Yeah, okay. this, this is heat treated. You know, it's a actually yeah. no, this is a, a, like kind of a, a Damascus styling on the bottom there. Yeah, now, now this thing, see that there. Now this thing is effing sharp. Nice the VG10. Yep. It's like you see Japan. Yep. All right, try that out. Try that blade out on the piece of paper. Oh, it has a very nice pocket clip. It goes all the way to the top there. Yeah, the only unfortunate thing is yeah. it doesn't exactly. You can't. You can't reverse it though. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is basically Spyderco sharp. Look at that. Oh, this is way more sharp than the Spyderco. Like I don't even have to put pressure on it yep. to get. Look at that. I don't. Yeah. That's cool. Huh? <laughs> yeah. Now the, now the thing is, kind of the oil is kind of. Um, I think I have to re-oil it. It's getting a little stiff around it. It used to be a lot smoother when I first got it. So, but I've been playing around with it a lot. Okay. Next up, this is the brand new.